In this module, we shall look at risk management in Musharaka as an Islamic mode of finance. The risk management in the context of Mudarba and Musharaka could be quite similar. In our previous module, we deliberately made the contents general because we were going to discuss some of the risks associated with Mudarba and Musharaka in this module. As the list suggests, in case of Musharaka and Mudarba, the risks are quite similar in terms of the list. Market risk, operational risk, liquidity risk, credit risk, and ownership related risk. Let us take an example of diminishing Musharaka based home finance to highlight these risks and their management. Market risk in Musharaka. Let's, we are taking the example of diminishing Musharaka based home financing, i.e., about a property. If the property market crashes, for whatever be the reason, the customer of the bank could be a property market investor. The property in question could be a buy to let property. Apne rehne ke liye nahi thi, kiraay pe dene ke liye. Now, if I'm, I'm referring to one property, it could be quite a few properties in the portfolio with this kind of consideration. Now, because the market price has, has come down, the, the, there is a property market crash and the home financing, Islamic home financing based on diminishing musharaka was at a stage that the customer found it convenient and in its advantage to default. In that case, property would go into ownership or properties in this context, they would go into ownership, uh, receivership, which means they would be auctioned. That is a possible loss and this is an example of market risk in Musharaka. Operational risk in Musharaka or diminishing Musharaka. The bank personnel responsible for the portfolio fails to check insurance takaful cover on the property. And it is quite possible, by the way. I know some personal examples where this thing has happened. The, the personnel in the bank never highlighted it, and there was no insurance slash the kaful cover on the property for quite a few months. Now, if we take this example, hypothetical one, the kaful cover expired in August last month, and the property actually gets fire in September. Is mahine aglagdati? If there is no valid cover, possible loss. That is an example of an operational risk in Musharaka. Now, all these risks, they are interrelated. If there is a change in one risk, that would have implication for the other risks as well. For example, if there is an increase in market risk, it will have implications for credit risk. It may have an impact on Provisions, provisions wo money hoti hai, jo bank alahda karke rakh lete hai, in case there is a loss, in case we have to spend money on certain things, in case there are defaults, in case there is increase in credit risk, to ye paise hum us waqt istemal karein. Provisions, they come from the profits of the bank. So, they are undistributed profits. 
थोड़े से इधर रख लेते हैं उनको कहते हैं प्रोविजन सो दिस वुड हैव इम्प्लीकेशन फॉर प्रोविजन एंड ऑफकोर्स दिस माइट हैव इम्प्लीकेशन फॉर द लिक्विडिटी रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द बैंक लेट एस सी विद दिस ग्रेड सो देर इज लिक्विडिटी रिस्क देर इज क्रेडिट रिस्क देर इज मार्केट रिस्क देर इज ओनरशिप रिलेटेड रिस्क देर इज ऑपरेशनल रिस्क बैंकों में या कहीं और भी जहां बड़े कारोबार होते हैं रिस्क एक नंबर होता है और उस नंबर को मैनेज किया जाता है आमतौर पर रिस्क मैनेजमेंट का मतलब यह है कि जी ये नंबर इस बैंड में रहे देन वी आर फाइन इफ इट गोज बियॉन्ड दैट वन देन वी आर इन ट्रबल और हर रिस्क के ऊपर एक डॉलर वैल्यू रखी जाती है इमेजिन द ट्रांजेक्शन वैल्यू ऑफ दिस मुशारका बेस्ड प्रोडक्ट इज फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड पांच लाख है कॉन्ट्रेक्टेड इनकम फ्रॉम दिस ट्रांजेक्शन इज हंड्रेड थाउजेंड बैंक इज एक्सपेक्टिंग और बैंक हैज अ कॉन्ट्रेक्टेड ट्वेंटी परसेंट रिटर्न ऑन दिस ट्रांजेक्शन अब उसने बैंक ने इसको रिस्क में कैसे डाला हुआ है बैंक कहता है जी कि मार्केट रिस्क जो है ना अभी नॉर्मल है जब नॉर्मल कंडीशंस हों तो वो कहते हैं जी कि मार्केट रिस्क इज 500 हंड्रेड रुपीज इस ट्रांजेक्शन में से 500 हंड्रेड रुपीज ये मार्केट रिस्क के लिए मुख्त है ये रखा हुआ नहीं अलहदा रखा नहीं होता ये अकाउंट में होता है रिस्क डिपार्टमेंट पीपल ओके दे हैव ऑल दीज कैलकुलेशन क्रेडिट रिस्क का उन्होंने कहा हुआ जी कि वन थाउजेंड रुपीज हम रख लेते हैं लिक्विडिटी रिस्क एट थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑपरेशनल रिस्क सौ तो रुपया रखा हुआ और ओनरशिप रिलेटेड रिस्क टू हंड्रेड रुपीज और प्रोविजन जो हैं वो भी हैं अबाउट फाइव हंड्रेड जो प्रोविजन में इसकी एलोकेशन होगी वो फाइव हंड्रेड की है इन नॉर्मल सर्कमस्टांसिस दिस इज द केस अब आ जाए कि ये मार्केट रिस्क चेंज हो जाता है द मार्केट विच वॉज नॉर्मल एक्चुअली द मार्केट रिस्क बिकम्स हाई देन मार्केट रिस्क एलोकेशन वुड बी वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इट हैज गोन अप क्रेडिट रिस्क वुड गो अप एज वेल मार्केट में गड़बड़ हुई हुई है देर आर पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ डिफॉल्ट एज वेल अगर प्रॉपर्टी मार्केट क्रैश कर गई तो डिफॉल्ट्स भी होना शुरू हो जाएंगे दैट वुड हैव इम्प्लीकेशन फॉर क्रेडिट रिस्क तो इंस्टेड ऑफ अ स्मॉलर अमाउंट अ हायर अमाउंट इज रिक्वायर्ड नाउ प्रोविजन हैव गोन अप टू टू थाउजेंड लिक्विडिटी रिस्क टेन थाउजेंड ओनरशिप रिस्क फ्रॉम टू हंड्रेड और थ्री हंड्रेड टू फाइव हंड्रेड एंड वी हैव ऑपरेशनल रिस्क so all these risks are actually interrelated so those prudent risk managers they would look at all these risks on one screen and would like to see what is the implication of change in this risk over the whole risk grid now at the end i would like to ask you and myself this question do islamic banks manage these banks uniquely i would say that in most cases no risk is a secular phenomenon risk ka koi deen iman nahi hai isliye isko manage bhi aapne market ke mutabik hi karna this is why even in islamic banks we find that the risk heads of risk they are least interested in islamic bank they take this very brutal view i have met so many heads of risk they say we don't know what is islamic banking we are looking into the risk of this bank whether this is islamic or conventional my job is to make sure that the risk is managed so i don't listen to the head of sharia or head of retail i take my own view so the risk is managed in islamic bank almost the same way as in conventional banks however where islamic banking differs and we are referring to this musharaka thing it's basically the origin of this risk could be different 
in case of musharaka this credit risk may arise from something which is uniquely islamic in case of murabaha this credit risk could be very different from what the conventional banks are facing however when this credit risk is this number whenever this credit risk or operational risk is this number the risk manager would be managing that number and that is what you should know if you want to go into islamic banking to have a career